Python. Python is the golden retriever of programming languages. Friendly, smart, and everyone loves it. Why? Because Python is easy to read. Most coding languages look like secret alien codes, but Python reads more like English. Instead of confusing symbols, you can write commands that make sense, like telling your computer, print hello world. That's why beginners start with Python. It doesn't scare you away on day one. But don't think Python is just for kids or beginners. It's a superhero in disguise. Huge companies rely on it every day. Instagram? Built with Python. Netflix? Uses Python to suggest the exact show you'll binge until sunrise. NASA? Yep, they use Python to help with space stuff. Even Google leans on Python for tools that billions of people use. And the best part? Python can do almost anything. Want to build a website? Easy. Train an AI to recognize cat videos? Python can do it. Automate your homework so your computer accidentally types your essay for you? Python again. It's like having a coding Swiss army knife in your pocket, useful for everything from tiny tasks to world-changing projects. Python is simple, powerful, and just plain fun. JavaScript. JavaScript is the magician of the internet. Without it, websites would be as boring as a blank notebook. Thanks to JavaScript, buttons actually work, menus slide open, and those silly pop-ups that say congratulations, you've won a free iPhone, exist. Basically, if a website does anything besides just sit there, JavaScript is behind it. But here's the twist. JavaScript isn't just for websites anymore. People use it to build mobile apps, video games, and even servers that power big online platforms. Imagine duct tape that fixes everything that's JavaScript in the coding world. It holds the internet together. Let's be real. Most of your favorite online moments probably involve JavaScript. That YouTube video player? JavaScript. The ability to like a TikTok post? JavaScript. Even those tiny games you play when you should be doing homework? Yep, powered by JavaScript. Developers love it because it's flexible. Want to make a simple website? Done. Want to create a 3D game that makes your computer sound like it's about to explode? Also possible with JavaScript. It's fun, fast, and everywhere. If the internet were a theme park, JavaScript would be the roller coasters, fireworks, and snack stands all rolled into one. Java. Java is the dad of programming languages, serious, reliable, and always reminding you to follow the rules. While other languages might let you be a little messy, Java says, nope, do it the proper way. At first, that might feel strict, but that's why big companies trust it. Java doesn't break easily, and when it does work, it works everywhere. Think of it like this. Write a program once in Java, and it can run on almost any computer, phone, or gadget. That's why the slogan is, write once, run anywhere. Pretty catchy, right? You probably use Java every day without realizing it. Got an Android phone? Almost all the apps are powered by Java. Banking apps? Java. Hospital systems? Java again. And here's a fun fact. Minecraft, one of the most famous video games ever, was originally made in Java. That means millions of kids building blocky castles and fighting creepers owe their fun to Java's reliability. It might not be flashy like newer languages, but Java is like a Toyota Corolla. Not the coolest ride on the block, but dependable and always gets you where you need to go. In short, Java is boring, but in the best possible way. C-sharp. C-sharp, pronounced C-sharp, sounds like the name of a rapper, but it's actually one of the coolest coding languages around. Microsoft created it, so it's tightly linked to Windows, Xbox, and all things Microsoft. If you've ever played a game built on the Unity engine, like Among Us, Fall Guys, or even parts of Pokemon Go, you've already experienced C-sharp in action. Developers love C-sharp because it's like Java's younger, more chill cousin. It still has rules, but it doesn't nag you as much. That means beginners can learn it without pulling their hair out, and professionals can use it to build super complex stuff. It's flexible too, you can make mobile apps, desktop programs, or websites. But the real star power of C-sharp is in gaming. Want to build the next Fortnite or Roblox-style hit? Odds are, you'll be writing C-sharp. It's also great for apps that remind you to drink water, track your homework, or even let you design your dream mansion in 3D. Think of C-sharp as the Swiss army knife for Microsoft's universe. Fun, friendly, and powerful, it's the language that makes digital worlds come alive. C++ C++ is the heavyweight champion of programming languages. If coding languages were cars, Python would be a comfy minivan, but C++ would be a roaring race car with flames painted on the sides. It's fast, powerful, and built for high-performance jobs. That's why it's used in video game engines, 3D graphics, operating systems, and even the software that flies airplanes or runs space rockets. No pressure, right? But here's the catch. With great power comes great responsibility. C++ isn't as beginner-friendly as Python or JavaScript. Mess up your code, and it won't just break, it could crash your whole program in seconds. 
That's why people say C++ teaches you to be careful. It's like juggling chainsaws, dangerous if you're sloppy but awesome once you master it. Some of the most famous video games, especially ones built with Unreal Engine, rely on C++. Those super realistic graphics that make your jaw drop? That's C++. And it's not just games, it's also behind banking systems, cars, and even robots. C++ might look intimidating at first, but once you learn it, you unlock raw coding power. It's the monster truck of programming. Tough, fast, and ready to crush anything in its path. PHP. PHP is like that kid in school who gets teased a lot but secretly runs the whole group project. People love to joke that PHP is old or outdated. But here's the truth. It's quietly powering more than half the websites you visit every day. That's right, over half. Back in the early days of the internet, PHP was the language for building websites. Even Facebook started on PHP before it grew into the giant it is today. PHP is a server-side language, which basically means it handles all the behind-the-scenes work when you load a web page. You click something, PHP makes sure the right information shows up. Simple, but essential. And here's where it gets cooler. Frameworks like Laravel have made PHP faster, cleaner, and way easier to use. Think of PHP like an old-school superhero who got a shiny new suit. It might not look as trendy as Python or JavaScript, but it still saves the day. So, while people might clown on PHP, it's still the reason your favorite websites don't crash when you click Buy Now. It's the quiet hero of the internet, the one doing the work while flashier languages take the spotlight. Ruby. Ruby is like the cozy cafe of programming languages, warm, welcoming, and kind of fun to hang out in. Developers love it because it's not only powerful, but it also feels nice to write. Where other languages might be stiff and complicated, Ruby is smooth and elegant, almost like poetry for computers. Its biggest claim to fame is Ruby on Rails, a framework that lets you build websites super fast. Back in the 2000s, startups went wild for Ruby on Rails. Companies like Twitter, Shopify, and Airbnb all started with it because you could go from an idea to a working site in days instead of months. Imagine thinking of a cool app idea on Monday and launching it by Friday. That's Ruby magic. These days, Ruby isn't the hot new thing anymore, but it still has a loyal fan club that swears by it. They love how clean the code looks, how quickly you can build stuff, and how it just makes programming feel enjoyable. It's like a comfort food, maybe not flashy, but it always hits the spot. So, if you want a language that makes coding feel less like homework and more like fun, Ruby is your best friend. Swift. Swift is Apple's superstar programming language. If Python is the friendly golden retriever, Swift is the cool kid with designer sneakers who only hangs out in the Apple Clubhouse. Want to build an iPhone app? Swift. A game for the iPad? Swift. A calorie tracker for your Apple Watch? Yup, Swift again. Before Swift, developers had to use a clunky older language called Objective-C. Think of it like trying to play Minecraft with oven mitts on. It worked, but it wasn't fun. Then Apple introduced Swift in 2014, and suddenly coding for Apple products became smooth, modern, and actually enjoyable. Swift is also fast and safe. It's designed to help you make fewer mistakes, which means fewer crashes and fewer angry users leaving one-star reviews like, This app broke my phone. That's why developers love it. It makes building apps quicker and less stressful. Even though Swift mainly lives in Apple's world, that's not a bad thing. Millions of people use iPhones, iPads, and Macs every single day which means Swift developers are in high demand. Want to build the next viral iPhone app that makes you a millionaire overnight? Swift might just be your golden ticket. And that's a wrap. These are the top programming languages you need to know. Now it's time to pick one and start building something amazing.